All right, welcome back to the show. And we're heading straight to our topic of conversation, uh, which is about youth and 2023 election, the Jackpot syndrome. This is also trailing from the conversation of change and taking sides. Should you be this so that you doesn't mean that you're supporting this person? Ma, the Jackpot syndrome is one that a lot of young people are leaving the country. It's been, there's been a lot of brain drain of and, and all of that. So, mm. I mean, that's one side of the conversation. That side is... Um, personal leadership and how Nigerians can navigate the troubled times because mm. we're going through a lot of troubled times right yes, now in the country. The and we've been going through it <laughs> and I don't know how we've this We've been going end. through it in the last 30 something years. Yes, mm. so I don't know. Is there, <laughs> and we talk a lot about these things and it's like talking, 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 but there's... Exactly. What action points what action do we need to take? What action points do we actually need to take to exactly. get us out of this mess? It's, if not, it's, people will keep it's, leaving. It's funny how we're having this conversation. I was just chatting with a friend who saw a video of mine that I posted uh, mm. when I went to Ghana recently? And it was, mm. The first question he asked me is, "You are out. You don't. You don't relocate." Uh, yes. Once you post <laughs> the picture that you are abroad, like, people conclude they are relocated. Yeah, but, you don't see in a long but, but, they think but, you've left. But but you know, I know this is a talking point. But let's ask the question: Do you do you blame them? Do you blame people who I, are currently okay? Because this so this so called comfortable economy i'm mm. beckoning on your citizens exactly your brains exactly your mm. skills exactly they're telling you to come let's be realistic mm. 35 over 35 years ago mm -hmm. this same japa syndrome happened under this same ruler who is leading nigeria yeah, today this, yeah. mm. yes the check the history the books history, yeah. it's over 35 years ago now when we look at the history of the world Developed nations were developed solely on the strength of the immigrants. Mm. Why do people migrate? Why do people jabba? Let's use that word. Famine, economic issues, security issues, then environmental factors. One of the very core functions of any effective leadership system is to build a suitable environment where people's potentials can thrive, where people's future can be guaranteed. So. You cannot discuss a new Nigeria with a hungry Nigerian no. whose future seems hopeless. The views are rising, the incidences of uh, kidnapping you know, is, on, is on the increase. Just this morning, right in front of a school, kidnappers went ahead to kidnap a woman and her children. It was the estate uh, guys, just here in Lagos, mm. that got hold of them. So people are desperate to want to make, they are doing everything desperate to want to survive and to make money. Why? Where there is no vision, people become wild. Wow. They cast off restraint. So when you look at even the religious books, even Jesus Christ had to jabba for his life at a point in time. His parents had to jabba and take him to Egypt. Even the honorable prophet had to move from Mecca to Medina. Isn't it? So we can't now come here and be guilt tripping people about the fact that they jabba. They want better for their lives. They want better for their children if they have the opportunity. Now, is that very good for our country? Is that very good for our economy? Like you said, the brain drain. No. But people have, you know, people have grown in the environment where we, we have something we call learned helplessness. Learned helplessness. Look at when the diesel crisis started and the petrol crisis started. Look at the hardship people are going through. And yet, the body language of those who are in rulership over us do not communicate any empathy mm. or any yeah. sympathy for people. So the frustration, so, and you know Nigerians like book. We are very studious. And the challenge is this, our educational curriculum has never been designed to produce an exceptional Nigerian to thrive in an environment that will make them prosper or profit. Mm. So they found one of the best options to live their life and succeed is to japa, get a foreign qualification and come here and get a better job. And that's why you hear, I just got back, you know, I schooled abroad. That was raining for a while. But now, the trend is that let me go and use the school to just escape the whole thing <laughs> entirely. <laughs> Once I finish school and I graduate, I get permit or I get to work. And, and it, I start li you know, living there. Now, for those who are, can, cannot leave, not everybody will be able to leave the country. Exactly. And we have already the in, in, um, antecedents are building up with the 2023 elections mm. and young people involved. Okay, we can say that the APC national convention. convention took place. You saw the politics, but the person who emerged as the youth leader mm -hmm. is actually a young person. He's he is a young years. person. So you can say, okay, that's a bit of someone who has been in the system. He's been in the system since he was 16 years old. Yes, but true. now, the other young people want to be able to be a part of this system. It's a bit difficult. Yes. Like, coupled with the situation we have. I agree. 
what are the solutions? Let's, what are the practical steps? Let me, let me steps? start that solution from exam the example you just gave about mm. the young person. This is a young man who I know him personally. Mm. Highly skilled, highly relational. He has leadership capac capacity. He has been a player in the corporate world. He's a very great connector with people. Yeah. He decided to go into politics to contribute. He does a lot of uh, uh, youth programs yeah. and yes. all of that. Right. Now, people just think they imposed him. Yes, I don't agree with he the imposition and the consensus. I, I don't agree. But the guy has made sacrifice. He has run yes. for office whereby he was denied. Yes. And he too wept in a similar way. What did he do differently to get here? What he did was that he went to join the political parties. The enemies. He went to join them. And he was serving there. A lot of us are doing big manism up and about. We don't want to join the political party. We don't want to go and do the dirty work. And yet we want change, change to happen. Oh. Let me quote this. Governor, former Governor Bola Tinubu de Ashwaju said a statement. And it's the most powerful statement I have had in years from a political leader. He said, in politics, you cannot be a spectator and expect to succeed. Hmm. And I added my own word. In politics, you cannot be a spectator and expect to succeed in governance or in leadership. What he was suggesting is that no matter the name you call him or the accusations you level against them, more than 90% of Nigerians yes. sit down in, their, in front of their television, sit down behind their phone on Twitter, blaming government officials, accusing government officials of all sorts of things, and yet we are not part of the political okay, okay. operations. Let me ask you, since you're, you're there, you know, would you blame... And this is trying to put some flesh into, you know, your submission right now. Mm. Would you blame the average Nigerian who, or the average young person who sits back and says, you know what, uh, let me just Less. contribute from my keypad? Because when you, when you look at how capital intensive it is mm. to get into politics. Yeah. Uh, that's where I'm going to. The nomination yeah. form. Yeah. Uh, that's where I'm going even, to. Even to, let's even go down to the grassroots. Yes. It's not easy. Chike, let me complete that thought. That's mm. exactly where I'm going to. When I said sitting down behind the keypad complaining behind TV, my question is, how effective has that complaint been over the years? All the noise we've been making over Twitter for years, how effective has it been? Okay. What results have we generated? So what we should do, I understand the frustration. We've all experienced it. There's nothing you will do to succeed in life that you will not encounter frustration. There's nothing you are going to do in life that you will not encounter resistance. The system is corrupt already. The system has been yeah. skewed against yeah. us. The question is, how do we go to the system and reform the system? You cannot reform the system from outside. So the first thing any youth should do, take, join the existing major political parties that have the clout. Attend meetings. Then, more importantly, contribute your money. Okay. Contribute ideas. Mm. Not necessarily run for office. Do, the, do cross exchange of ideas. Gather people like yourself with your own ideology. Ensure the number of people that go for meetings, they're very small. Do you know that? Okay, I, I understand mm. because my late dad was into politics and I understand the progression of the word meetings and I understand that structure and system, but then it's a bit lacking because it's very frustrating. Okay. Even down to say you want to even vie for local government chairman position. I okay. know what it takes and the kind of money, even as a young person, you spend on that level, the lobbying is crazy. Good. So it's already a frustrating situation. Yeah, Look yeah. at what happened with NSAS. Okay, these young people were not even into politics, they just mm -hmm. collectively wanted to speak for something. Good. Look at what happened. So as much as you're saying the issues of getting involved in politics, the system is to look, to look too much analysis leads to paralysis. <laughs> We have overanalyzed the Nigerian. Have, See, I, that's what I, we are I, doing I, here I, too. We I, keep, we keep when we prefer solutions, we keep analyzing with the problems. The question is, you cannot expect to do any meaningful thing. You go to school, you will write exams now. You will fail some exams. You will pass mm. some exams. You cannot change the system without experiencing resistance. Let, mm. let me say why I'm saying this. Chaos is a ladder for anybody to prosper. Anywhere you see chaos that is striving in perpetuity like this. My question like is, this, if you don't have a Godfather, hold on, hold you on. cannot get Please, to some positions. <laughs> you know. When you see chaos eh, consistently and being persistently you know, uh, 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 in, in our economy, yeah. uh, in a situation like this, it's because somebody is profiting from it. That person that is mm. profiting from the chaos will never allow you to change that system. Um, and that's the truth. So how do you do that? You have to be very strategic about your approach. You Let's start from the grassroots. You don't have to vie for office. You need money. You know, <laughs> wait. I, I'm not denying the fact that we need. Chike said something. Which I, I tweeted about it. <laughs> See, eh, let me complete my thought so that okay. I, I sound congruent. 
Chike talked about the fact that the nomination form is expensive. People are comp complaining about the APC convention that they decided. Yeah. These guys planned this thing 10 years ago. They're just doing the implementation now. You and I are sleeping in our houses. My father was into government and he was a, he was a political party member. I know how many hours of meeting they hold in our house. Yes. Late into the night yes. and very early in the morning. Yes. How many of us would leave our offices and your career jobs, your career, your professional career, and I go know, and be attending world I meetings? Know those meetings? Do you understand <laughs> what I'm saying? We are not ready to pay the sacrifice, but we are just complaining and analyzing the problem. The sacrifice is that create time and get your money involved. These guys are the ones sponsoring the political parties. They are the ones funding the political parties. And you are not telling them not to do as they like. They don't, they don't even answer you. They are spending millions and they are using state resources to hijack the political structure. The way we gather resources during the answers, if we gather that kind of resources and support and the kind of movement and we move a mass to a political party and hijack the political party, don't you think it's possible? I think I understand your point because I, I, I remember when I was much younger and we used to have all those meetings when that was mm. with Bala Ige and all of that. So I understand how the political class, these are people who have been in the system for close to 10, exactly. 20 years engineering what will happen right now. Exactly. I understand that, but it's just a bit frustrating for a lot of young people who want to get things it's but they not don't instant know. gratification you mm. have to work it you mm. have to be patient don't go into the political party and want to start running for office and hold your position and get agitated that they are not giving you no it's not position leadership is not position leadership is influence leadership is the ability to move people from one trajectory of of, of ideas and objectives to another what we need to do in the political party is not to go and run for office people make mistakes wanting to run we need mm. the youth let me ask us chike those People who are in our age bracket, who are youth, if they get into governor, governorship positions today or ministerial positions, do you think they will do better? No. <laughs> Thank you very much. You don't even have confidence in the youth. So, Why? So, because so the value is, system is, is what? This is, I, get, I get your point. And you, you're making a very solid uh, uh, position mm. here because um, you, you can't com continue to complain about yeah. the system until you find yourself in, in the mix exactly. of the system. Uh, but, but my own final question to you is, now that you're sort of gingering young people to get involved in politics, uh -huh. um, not minding the disadvantages or not minding the pressure that they might face because, yeah. I mean, that's life, literally. Exactly. But how do, how do we um, young people now navigate the system or yeah, navigate the water Thank you. in a place that these changes are visible? Because, you see, one of the things that gets me all, you know, agitated and fed up is we talk about the things that we want to do uh -huh. when we get in government. Uh -huh. And like you've said, you know, those powers that be hinders those things from, from happening. Yeah. But how do we begin to... Little baby steps, how can exactly. that Exactly. Thank you very much. First off, gather the likes of people like Tolu. Let us go and join the political party. <laughs> let's start attending the meetings. Yeah. Then let's now no. have our own carcass. Every mm. political party have carcasses. Mm. Yeah. APC has Justice Forum, Mandate yeah. Forum, Affair yes. uh, Ferry Forum. They have all sorts of forums. Mm. Let's have our own... Let's call our own the Dynamite Forum. Mm. Mm. Let's hold events eh, and ag agree on an ideology that we want to propound through the structure of the party. Mm. Let's sit down and draw up a 20-year strategy plan. Let us all share. Let those of us who are with strategists, those of us who are in media, those of us, let's all come up with a plan of, of the Nigeria of our dreams. Define that Nigeria and define the steps, short-term, long-term steps we want to take. Take it to the political party and submit it to the others respectfully, not arrogantly. Let us rub their back. Let us massage their ego. <laughs> let us patiently find, let be like the rat who is eating your hand and is yet biting you. Mm. Let's go in a very strategic way, respectfully. Because the leaders in the political party are not educated. They don't speak English. You, you cannot go there and be speaking English anyhow. You have to speak their language. There's a language in that system that you have to master. When we master the language, we patiently wait for the seed that we have planted to grow. We water it. How do we water it? We begin to generate resources. You can't go for those political party meetings and not share money and not share food. Yes, it's a mala politics. Share, right. So if you have to go there, when the meeting no, is on no, and they are busy no, talking, no. It, half of the people there are hungry, hungry and jobless. So what we should do as youth, let's begin, as we pay tithes and offering to church, let's be paying tithes and offering to our political parties as well. The way we give offering in church, we need to be giving offering to the... If you want to have mouth inside these political parties, you need to put your money 
or else the money back will hijack the political party. So, just hope that so we gather those, those resources we gather during the answers, hundreds of millions of naira. Let's gather it and put it into okay, political so, parties. So, so quickly. At the local government mm. level, mm. small, small events, small, small town hall meetings, small, small community projects in the name of the political party, giving the political party a good mm. visibility in those local governments. Mm. When we do it and we make a projection for at least 10, 20 years, mark my words, Things will not be the same again. So, so, sir, to my final question, as we move into next year's election, I know you'll yeah. be here, you know, up until moving <laughs> to that election. Yes. Right? The, strategy the, for work the, the conventions, party. the nominations, mm -hmm. the, of course, uh, declarations have all started. Yes, please. What, do, what should the average Nigerian be looking out for in terms of voting? The truth is this. The, the average next. Nigerian should go out to vote, but your choices are limited. <laughs> Nigerians should lower their expectations. Mm. So don't have any, you know, in 2050, we have so much hope. We have so much hope. And like a lover, our hope is being dashed every look now away, and then. Look where we are so now. let's protect our own emotional ability, our own emotional Ooh. state. Okay. Mm. Mark my words, nothing different will happen in 2023. Jeez. It should be the same event. Now, I'm not trying to suggest that Nigeria should be hopeless. I'm just saying nowadays, out of all the options that we have, mm. out of all the myriads of options that we have, let us go out en masse and vote. Okay. Nigerians should stop staying in their houses and be analyzing political events on Anyways. TV and on newspaper. Let's go out en masse and vote for the lesser evil okay. of all of our because options. Of time. Then we'll now use that to prepare for the next set of elections. Mm. But for now, it's too late to do anything. <laughs> I would say, are you affiliated with one party, be it APC or PDP? Yeah, it's not going to let you know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't say what I don't practice. Okay, are you an APC member or PDP? Which one? I'm a member of a very progressive party. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> we need I to go. Never the word of the day is from John Quincy Adams. If your actions inspire others to dream more, learn more, or do more and become more, you are a leader. That's from That's John it. Quincy Adams. If your action inspires others to dream more, learn more, do more, and become more, you are a leader. That's a very insightful one. We've had an amazing conversation, of course, trending the month of women, and yesterday was this, to put smile on, smiles on women's faces, especially the mothers. And of course, we've had trending, which is quite interesting, and the Jaguar syndrome, relating it to the youth and the 2023 election, Bernard Boy, Roga, and Will, and Chris Rock. And this is where we wrap up the show. Thank you so much, to you for coming you, on the Thank show. You, Thank you, It's really nice Thank to catch you. up with these amazing conversations. And um, like we always say, please don't slap anybody today. Get your PVC because the elections are coming up next year. I'm going to vote, even though it says mm. we don't have hope. But <laughs> let's just <see> vote. Anyway, <laughs> we, we still have hope if we pray for God to get them to we'll implode. We'll something can still happen. But we've been more. praying for too long that nothing has happened. All right, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Take care Thank you.